I had been to Puyallup a few times when it was the, the fairgrounds of uh, Western Washington. Little did I know that I would replace the pigs and the cows and that type of stuff, you know, because they, uh, they restructured the fairgrounds and the parking lots into these temporary uh, hovels. And they had a hell of a lot of nerve calling it Camp Harmony. But anyway, it was, uh, boy, it was a real a traumatic type of uh, living where you're in the former stoves where uh, the pigs and the cows and everything else were temporary shacks or that. Just uh, the walls went up so many feet off the ground, and families of six and seven were crowded into one little spot. And I uh, I think intentionally I forgot a lot of Camp Harmony. I hate to use the word harmony, but uh, it uh, it was just not a very good experience. I mean, how were you, what were you thinking? I mean, you were um, a high school graduate, and so you had learned a lot in your civics courses and mm -hmm. history courses about the, the United States Constitution and all those things. You know, what was going through your mind as this was happening to you, a, a United States citizen? Well, in retrospect, I can say a lot about that, but... <laughs> I just uh, I just felt that all this liberty and crap was all crap. You know, it just uh, you read so much about democracy and all this, and uh, it was a real eye opener to see what could happen to citizens and what the citizenship mean. Because. Uh, it just bothered the heck out of me to think that I tried to be a good citizen and man, they're tossing me into joints like this. I didn't like it. I don't. I can't imagine anybody liking it or having uh, positive uh, images of being locked up. 